Okay, we're still talking about percent bars. And remember, we use percent bars as a way to help with the estimation and also like check for reasonableness because it gives us a visual. Um, Mrs. Romaine used the senior citizen discount of 15% and it's a discount at Ross Department Store. She purchased two blouses priced at $15 and $30 and then three pairs of shoes that cost $60 each. Ooh, $60 each. Okay. Now, before I can even start to set this up, I need a total. I need a 100% and she's bought quite a few things. So she has a blouse for $15 and another blouse for 30, that gives me $45. Then it says three pairs of shoes that cost $60 each. So $60 times three makes 180. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add these together. Okay, 180 and 45. Ooh, $225. Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll keep 225 here. I thought about maybe rounding it to 200, but it might make my answer um, too different. So my 100% or the total cost that I just spent or this lady just spent is 225 bucks. Then it's talking about a 15% discount. So there's my 50%, which we don't really need to solve for. We could say, ooh, I wanna find for 10%. Why would I want to find 10%? Because it's easy. I could also, after I find 10%, I could figure out what 5% was and add it together to get the 15 if I wanted to. So let's do this. 100 to 10 is dividing by 10. So I would do the same thing here. I would take my 225 and divide by 10. The nice thing is, remember, dividing by 10 just moves my decimal once to the left. So this is $22.50. Okay, that's my 10%. And also, because I'm just rounding, I probably could stop here and say that because this is 10% and I'm looking for 15% off, I would say that my 15% would obviously have to be more than $22.50 more than $22.50. Okay, but let's look at what the question says. It says, how much did Mrs. Romaine save with a discount? Okay, so they're not asking for how much did she spend. They just want to know what is the discounted amount. So this would be a good estimated answer of I'm going to be saving more than $22.50. Now I can go ahead and start to solve. Remember, the percent bar helps me to set up my proportion and I'm not looking for 10% I'm actually looking for 15 so I put that 15 down there 2 to 25 is my total and the amount of that 15% is my unknown all right always looking for shortcuts um, these can be divided by 5 so I'm gonna go ahead and do that 5 goes into 100 20 times and 5 into 15 goes in 3 times the only reason I simplify that is because I know that if I multiplied 15 times 225, that it would be um, just a little bit too, like too big, too big of numbers. And so I might get confused. So making them smaller definitely helps those students. So I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. 225 times 3 is 15, 6 plus 1 is 7. Uh, 3 and 2 is 6. So 675. And I can write 675 on either side of my equal sign. And then here I have 20x. My job now is to divide by 20. And this is what I've got to work out. So 675. I'm going to do it here. 675 divided by 20. That's 0. That's 3 times, which is 60. Subtract to get 7, bring down that 5. 2 into 75, 2, 4, 6, that's 3 times, which is another 60. Subtract, I got 15. So I'm going to add a decimal here and add a 0. 20 into 150. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 7 times, I 
that gives me 140. Oh man, am I going to go on forever? Nope, I found an end. So now 20 into 100, five times. So my discount amount ends up being where $33.75 is equal to X. So is that a reasonable answer? Well, let's compare that to my estimated. And I said it has to be more than $22.50. So I'm going to say, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. And this is the discount amount.